Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. What is going down? What's going down? What is going down in your town? I'm going to turn my volume down. I don't even know if y'all can hear me over the music right now. I can't hear nothing over the music right now, but anyway. This is your host, your favorite host on a Tuesday night podcast talking about sports and technology by the name of Noonish, man. I'm J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, man. Happy to have a, here to have a great time. Happy to be here. Oh, yeah. To have a great time with my, uh, my awesome co-host. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Ronald Ball wearing the house. What's going down, huh? Not much, man. Uh, we got some great subjects to talk about. And I just want to tell you like this, no worries. We're going we to unpack these sports and technology. Maybe not technology tonight, but definitely the sports, because we got something to say. Oh, got got a lot to say. Got a okay. lot to say. Got a lot to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we get that on this show. You know, let me let me make sure these these tones are turned down to where you can hear what's about to come up because our first lady F1, she's so cool. Oh yeah. She, oh. I mean, she she makes these predictions like it's a job. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's pretty awesome to, to, to watch it do it like week after week. You know what I'm saying? Or anybody can make predictions. Yeah. But most people can't be right. Can you get it right? <laughs> well, get it right. No, well, can you get it right? Yeah. So, and this one is crazy because, you know, uh, for the past three years, as she said, 2021, Max Verstappen, 2022, Max Verstappen, 2023, Max Verstappen, you know, funnel by five. I think McLaren got a good chance to putting on for the people because of the types. And but guess what happened? She was speaking specifically to why, yeah. you know, they were going to pull this thing out. So y'all know what time it is, man. Let's go on and jump on to the, bring on the first lady of F1. What's going down, Miss Why? How you doing, girl? What's up, boys? I'm not used to seeing you in, in this dark light here. Like, this is different. This is this is night mode. Yeah, got got the night vibes popping. I got to yeah, yeah. get out of my ear, man. Like, this is a different vibe, see why? Yeah, you know? I kind of like it. Oh, yeah, I do too. I do too. We got the music popping in the ears real quick. I just want to be able to hear, you know? <laughs> do you hear that? I hear that. Oh, yeah. All right, but yeah, we can see past that. See why what's going down, girl? You know, I just, how do you, you got a crystal ball in the house? Or you just rubbing that thing all week long, like, mm. What am I gonna say on Wednesday? You know, I know the boys ain't racing five years. We just now coming back, but let me see if I can pull something out of nowhere because everybody's expecting Max Verstappen to win this next race. You know, I really did. I surprised myself. I, I mean, I did last episode kind of like tease, like maybe I expect Max to be back at least on the podium. But that track, that track was set up. Throughout the whole weekend, McLaren showed some dominance, and they really pulled through. They really did. But uh, that was wild to see. I I, I was it wasn't wild to see because I kind of expect <laughs> that of you. You know, like you haven't been wrong yet. I mean, I can I can be I can be pretty I can be pretty wrong, but this time correct, and I was pumped about it. Uh, we we talked like. A little bit about just headed into the weekend, what to expect. I didn't expect Lando to lead by 22 seconds. Usually when I see Lando or Leclerc on pole, it doesn't immediately scream a win to me. Like yeah. when they're on pole position, usually this is classic for Leclerc. Uh, and Lando, Max or Lewis or somebody else will poke out in front and then lead the race. And that is actually what happened. Lando didn't, uh, they had about similar reaction times he and Max did, but Max was able to pull pull through really fast and and led the, ra the race for about 18 laps before Lando uh, caught up to him on a straight and then continued to win the race by 22 seconds, like, how did which that is. Like, what the by 23 seconds, that was quite a margin. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of funny. Like, they like raise the check, they're like wave the checkered flag. There goes Lando. 
fireworks and pyrotechnics are going off. And then it was, do, 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 do. <laughs> and then and then Max Cross. It's the longest gap um, from first to second place for the whole season. And now there's Ooh. there's been longer. I think there's been up to like 60 seconds or something crazy. But uh, in seasons past, but this is the longest gap between first and second for for this particular season. And then Leclerc came in. Uh, after Max, but it was just so, it was really funny, it was like uh, kind of awkward on TV to watch. Like, there goes Lando, and then it was like, hmm. Like, Who's that? Like, exactly. I'll give you some, I, I, this is my, this is my guess. A couple of things can really benefit a driver out in front, and that's clean air. You've got nobody in front of you. Yeah. You've got, you know, clear visibility. You're not dealing with some of the slowdown from dirty air. Now, sometimes there's benefits when there's someone in front of you because you get a little bit of a, a pull, a stream, if you will, a slipstream. But when there's too many cars and they're not spaced out enough, you can you can really not benefit from it. So yeah. Lando pulling out in first on that 18th lap, um, I think gave him, it just showed the car um, at it, in its prime, right? Clean air, clear visibility. Yeah. Um, but also, it's a freaking fast car. And there's, you know, there's a lot of arguments going back and forth around, you know, did Max actually have the most dominant car? Is he just the best driver? And I think what Lando and the diversity and variability of the race winners from this season just shows it. I don't know. I think the cars are are catching up. I mean, we didn't expect to see Mercedes win a race this, or Lewis especially win a race this season, yeah, but he yeah, did. So. So we're seeing we're seeing some things shake it up. But I you know, I don't know. I think um Lando isn't known for his starts. So again, I wasn't really expecting to see a win pull through here. Um, but I'm I'm pumped about it. I think he you know, I've talked about him before. He's got a little bit of a funny attitude. Like he's kind of like I mean, almost a little bit like jaded by winning. Like if he doesn't win, he's upset. If he wins, he's still kind of not that happy, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, what's up with this dude? You know, because he's you know, since uh he lost that race earlier in the year. Since he won, and then he came back and lost every step, and like he's had a chip on his shoulder. I love the yeah. chip on the shoulder. You know, I think that's a, a very good voice. It makes you want to step your foot on you know, somebody that can beat him by 22 seconds. That's <laughs> what I love to see. You know I love what I'm to saying? Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. if he won by one second, it's a win, but he's like, nah, dog, that's not good. Yeah. You know, I got to let everybody here know that the Dutch GP is mine by 32 <laughs> seconds, bro. In your house. So. Yeah, he really did that. underline and bold it. Yeah, he really said, watch this. And I think that that's some of the dynamics you're seeing. You know, they always show the cool down room after the races where the top three, you know, the podium finishers are just sitting there watching caps of your, your highlight race. And you can really see like who's supporting who, um, you know, who maybe has a little bit of uh, that chip and you're seeing it come to life. I mean, Lando and, and Lewis the other day got into it a little bit. Uh, and it was just kind of funny to see if Lewis is maturity and then like those, you know, edge that he has he lately. So. Anybody. Like he's just... <laughs> He the young scrap about just wants to take whatever fight, you know? Yeah. Trying to win. Absolutely. Trying to win. He, he wants to <laughs> take his mark right now against the best. And it's like, nah, bro, I'm the best. You know, go play your video game. <laughs> Good luck with your video game. Yeah. Where are here now. I mean, they, they literally said that to Lewis. He was like, you guys used to be fast, but now we're fast. And now you've got to watch. Right. Which is, not, you know, it's not untrue, but, you know, it's really closing in that constructor or the driver champion, I'm sorry, where first step in is running away with it. Uh, Lewis is, you know, not catching up. Blair's still far behind. Russ and Piastri's behind. So really coming down to Nora and Verstappen, who are really going to fight it out to the end of the championship. Now, it's been, can you even believe this? It's Max not won a race in soon. So out of character for him, so. That's the last wow. time it's been five full races. Max won a race, so we've seen wins, and I, I'm, I, you know what? I wouldn't be shocked if Max doesn't win another race for the season. Can't believe I would say that. I don't think it's true, but I don't think it's off the table. See it happening. You know, was it six races in a row? Five races in a row? He's, he's all that means you said since he's won a race. Five races. Well, you know what? What happens when you do not deliver? I've got breaking news. F1 breaking news today. Are you ready for it? Yep. Unk, I know you've been waiting. I know you've been waiting for F1 breaking news. Logan Sargent, our American driver over at Williams, not a black driver. Sorry, guys. Yep. Our white American driver, Logan Sargent, is no longer 
a Williams driver. He was dropped mid-season and his spot taken for the rest of the season by an F2 driver. Oh, damn. I mean, it was coming. I I feel like it was uh, it was coming. He cra- had a pretty pretty rough crash in the final practice um, at the Dutch GP in Zandvoort, and it was going to cost a lot of money to repair that car. So it just in practice it was super rough. So I when you start costing your team money, it's a, it's it's, it's just no no wonder you out. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're tired of cars. And that practice. dude is. <laughs> That guy's an expensive driver to have. Yeah, so I think they just made a call. They've got a lot to look forward to with Carlos joining. But for now, Franco Colapinto is the driver from Williams from F2. He's a super young dude. He's not even the best in F2, but I think they're just going to give him a shot. They're just going to see what happens. Uh, so we'll see how he, he finishes up. I think I know why you couldn't hear me. You can be really well now, don't you? Why? Uh, the mute button gets me every time, you know, like <laughs> You muted yourself? Yeah, I muted myself. Just like classic, yeah. classic movie. You sound crisp now. You sound great. You hear me okay? <laughs> you know what that is, right, J.A.? Was it? I mean, uh, Chris Yada, that's J.A. multitasking. Yeah. I can <laughs> hey. When are you going to learn? You can't do it all. You can't do it all. You can't do it all. Oh, I learned a long time ago, you know. I'm just, you know, still, still trying to, I guess, strengthen my, my weaknesses. And it ain't working out too well. <laughs> It's rough. Also, no, rough. No, I'm I'm happy. To, I'm actually happy to see. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say I'm happy to see Max losing, but it just didn't seem there what was going on. Like it seemed like something was, and some roles shifted towards one team's the rating so they mm. could get some dubs, you know. But that's just you know my very novice opinion from the outside looking in, you know. But uh, I was paying a little bit of attention. That's what I saw. I I like Jacob. I think it's good for TV. It's must TV, if you will. So we're headed to Monzo, which is the LG, one of the oldest tracks um, on the schedule. And Max has won the last two years. But prior to that, Lewis had won quite a bit. He's a five-time winner at Monza. This is a very fast track, and they're on a totally different tire strategy than they were for Zandvoort. So they went from having hard tires to pretty soft tires. So I think it's going to be really interesting. I was reading some of the intel from Ferrari. This is Ferrari's home track. That braking at Monza is really light and it feels really different. Almost the complete opposite from what it feels like at the prior track. So cars that we might have seen go pretty fast at Zandvoort are going to go even faster at Monza. Um, So I think there's just going to be a shakeup. So I would expect... McLaren to possibly back be back in the winning uh, seat. I actually expect to see a double podium here. I want to see Oscar and Lando, mm. and likely uh, I would. I my guess, my guess. Let me let me predict. Is a Mercedes or Max? Notice how I don't even say Red Bull because per, where's Perez? Where's Checo Perez? He's he's nowhere to be found. Yeah. So but, I'm thinking Mercedes or or a Max third what, third finish. What happened to Oscar last race? Oscar, he did he did fine. He just wasn't as fast as everyone else. He did okay. I think he ended up in fourth or fifth, but he, um, yeah, he wasn't too, he wasn't too far off track, but he, um, no pun intended, but he wasn't um, he wasn't as dominant as Lando. I think that pole position piece really supported him, and again, that clean air. That's kind of the difference, right? You see Oscar getting caught up a little further back, having to deal with traffic. And then you've got Lando with the, uh, the the clean air out in front, and so I think it just showed and really flexed the speed of the of the car. Um, so he didn't do terribly. So I I kind of I'm kind of expecting to see him, um, depending on how practice and qualifying go, uh, back on the podium. I think that'd be fun for for McLaren. I've never seen a win so far. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you guys! You guys got to go back and watch some of the Lewis Hamilton races or Schumacher or Senna. They had some. They some. There were some really incredible seasons of F1 where you just thought, "Damn, that's the Michael Jordan, you know, of of driving." Like they were so dominant, it was so clear. Um, and you know, twenty two seconds is quite a bit, but there again, there were there were finishes that were longer than that. And then, could you just imagine, like, Lewis is. Lewis was dominant for years on end, like nonstop winning and winning championships. So 
um but yeah it's it's great i i'm i'm looking forward to the rest of of the season because of that like and i think there's going to be upgrades that are applied there's all kinds of things changing they're making some final decisions about who's taking those final spots i think it changes the energy um but they'll have a you know they came off a summer break they've got the dutch gt they'll go to italy and then they'll end up a little bit of a break they've got a little two-week break and then they'll end up at azerbaijan which is another kind of crazy race so we'll see what happens a lot, a lot taking place, man, and I can already see it's gonna be a crazy 2025. But yeah, this is uh pretty dope. Um, you keep killing it, man. And once again, you know, kudos for the great prediction. You know, you're not just throwing pulling straws out of hat or whatever it is. You know, you you're actually giving us some information as to why. Oh, why. oh, actually, actually, I'm just asking ChatGPT to give me all the answers. It's not really me. <laughs> is it giving you acting lessons too? Because you had. <laughs> it's ask it's actually what that i've uh, just heard it's called unk and you ever ask jeeves it's kind of like that except it's all sports related yeah. so you just ask oh, you okay. ask unk and it gives you the predictions you gotta ask. sports guru hey you got hey. to ask the right person <laughs> hey and see why i'm gonna say this we gonna claim that for our own there you uh, go that, that phrase must see tv yeah we gonna claim that for newish because it's you been should. coming out ever since Ever since we had that conversation, it's been everywhere, but, you know. You know, I'm here out here predicting trends and, you know, trends in sports, but I feel like Unc really knows what's what's coming up in culture and fashion, obviously, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you just have pointed out. <laughs> and, I, and I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was a, another excellent, excellent rundown, you know, of this week's F1 at the Dutch Grand Prix, man, Lando's going ham. Hey, next week, we've got more... Uh, more F1 though you know we didn't even really dive into the subject you know oh no we talked about Monza and that's what I'm saying I think I think I'm gonna see uh, this is my prediction hold me to it Oscar sorry Lando oh, let yeah. me start it let me start over Lando Oscar and then okay I've got to pick I got to pick I think George Russell George Russell I don't know why. I just have this sneaking suspicion, but I'm I'm seeing a Mercedes, but I'm having to pick. You guys know I always root for Lewis. So I'm trying to shake yeah. it up and be mysterious, oh, yeah. but and this is the Italian Grand Prix right here. Right? That's the that's oh, the one. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. the one. Should be a fun race. Oh, yeah. It was started in 1921. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that when you were born, Jonathan? No, no, no. I wasn't even born here. I wasn't even around. Oh, <laughs> you know, no. I think I would have been a boxer if I was, though, you know, oh. back then. But, yeah, no, nah, my grandmother was born, like, what, nine years before that? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll tell you. Yeah, nine years. Yeah, 1912. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. It is, yeah, it's an old It's an old track. Should we talk about Mexico City really fast? I don't remember if I gave you that as a topic, but I do want to. I do want to tease. Let's talk about NASCAR. Um, let me ask you a question, Unc. How do you feel about? How do you feel about Mexican food? How do I feel about what now? Mexican food. You like Mexican food? Yeah. Oh, hey, I love Mexican food. <laughs> you know, I was down in Playa del Coma a few months back. And what uh what was really surprising to me is that the uh, Mexican food in Texas is hotter than the Mexican food in Mexico. It is very I, different, I, yeah. I, I was like, so that's Tex-Mex. That's not real Mexico. Yeah. Clear yeah. distinction. A clear distinction. Yeah. Mexico celebrates September 14th, and we celebrate September 9th. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, go ahead, okay. go ahead and see where I'm about to... I was just going to make sure, I was going to make sure oh, we like Mexican, Mexican food, food yeah. because I think we need to pack our bags, guys. And June of 2025, we should go hit up the NASCAR Mexico City Cup Series race. It is the first time the Cup Series is going below the border, um, and it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a hit. I think wow, two I things. Think so, too. That's a, that's a, yeah. Yeah. I think that I love seeing the cultural aspect of, well, really NASCAR has made an investment in tapping into different cultures. There, There's an effort to try and get more women to watch NASCAR. I love that they're doing things in different places. The street race was another opportunity to get fans who might not have ever watched a Chicago NASCAR race 
street race, I think, was a catalyst to Mexico. So it's the first time they're going to be there. There's a Mexican driver on the grid. We talked about him, Daniel Suarez. Family now. He's from Monterey. So uh, this is going to be this one's going to be really fun. I think um, it's the same the same track where they actually race F1. So they're actually bringing in the team that helps to produce the F1 and market the F1 race. So it's a well known it's a well known track. Twenty twenty five can't come soon enough. I hope you're ready, Young. Do you have a passport, right? Well, you were you were there not long ago, so I hope you guys are ready to uh, to attend. So, I mean, we gotta we gotta keep it at the forefront of our minds. Uh, you know, June. Uh, you just you say June, right? June twenty five. June twenty twenty five makes small city. So, hey, it sounds like a plan to me. It sounds like a pre uh, a pre birthday party for us, right? Absolutely. You <laughs> show see why sound like a plan. Yeah, let's do it. Hey. We should do live from the track. Live from the track, guys. We are reporting live. Noonish, Mexico City. Do you guys do you guys want to know a fun fact though? Um uh my middle name, my mom's watching, so she'll love this. Hello, mom. She loves this part right here. Oh, are you gonna shoot money out of my head? I can't see, but tell me what's happening. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. Okay, fun fact time. Million dollar fact time. My middle name is actually Margarita. So I can't wait to be drinking margaritas with you guys in Mexico City at our NASCAR. Oh, hey, 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 see why you gotta have one margarita now. You gotta have me one. <laughs> Just one. Anything beyond that, we start to sing. Yeah. Boys just went up. <laughs> like, you know, Mario Coins is just overflowing out of your pocket. They just bouncing out there and me jump right now. You know? I'd like to thank my mom. I'd like to thank my mom for my middle name. She named me after my grandmother, whose name is Margarita, uh, who is also from Mexico. So we will be out. We will be out there. Maybe I'll bring her. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll be drinking margaritas by the truck. Get it. Let's get it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> hey, Rachel. June 2025. Catch us out there in Mexico City with some headphones on. Yeah. You know, Need some headphones. Getting lifted over the fence so I can find my team because everybody had to say that on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, that's awesome. See, well, I appreciate you, man. This has been a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. Oh. Well, I hope this, yeah, we'll, we'll see who wins this thing Sunday. But we'll oh. see you next week. All right. See you guys. All right. Bye bye. Man, first of all, if you saw what was going down, you know, on the on the picture, on the thumbnail, of course we're gonna talk about C D Lamb. You know, of course we're gonna talk about Show A Otani. You know, of course we're gonna talk about these matchups this week in the NCAA. You know, oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see that mate. Football uh, is, yeah. is coming, coming and it's coming strong, you know? Yeah. Of course we're gonna talk about the upset last week, you know? Don't wanna see that. Didn't want to see that. Should have expected that, though, from the young man that, you know, is typically playing quarterback for, for my guys for the state. But uh, we'll talk about that later, man, you know. Uh, but, yeah, we got a lot to get into, a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, again, thank you so much, First Lady of F1. You go so hard, man. Like, oh, no, we good. We good. We good. She comes down. She get there with the get down. Is it too loud? Uh, hey, if y'all can hear us, if you see something, say something. Well. Uh, all right, yeah, we're good here. We're yeah, good there. So, all right, uh, I do want to say this, uh, trip. If you out there, bro, uh, trip the ghost, man. We gonna reschedule the 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 uh, fantasy draft. Uh, we had some some conflict, some mis uh, misunderstanding, miscommunication with uh, between some of the players and in the league, and you know we get it all figured out, figured out, you know ironed out. So we got time. So uh, we're gonna reschedule that for I believe next Monday, next Monday night. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll communicate via email. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun time in the Fantasy Football League, man. Welcome to Noon. Yeah, it's yeah. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. So, uh, without any further delay, let's hop into these topics real quick for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we got jumping off first? Uh, jumping off from the, from the jump off. You know, we're going to jump into them Dallas Cowboys, man. What are we going to make them wait for? Why would we do that? You know? Dallas Cowboys, C D Lamb. Why we gonna why why would we do that? You know? I mean, well, first off, we're in Dallas. Well, we're in 
we're in the uh, uh, we're in the metroplex. Yeah, we're in, in, we're in the, the Dallas Fort Worth yeah, metroplex. Yeah. We metroplex. we're not necessarily in Dallas, but we're closer to Dallas than we're on Fort Worth. Absolutely. And we're from Dallas, not Fort Worth, so yeah. we gonna claim Dallas. Yeah, absolutely. But, but we're in the metroplex. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, we love Fort Worth too. Just our geographical location is in Dallas County. But <laughs> oh yeah, but jumping on the subject of City Lamb. Got a four-year contract. 136 million. 136 million. 100 million guaranteed. 100 million guaranteed. I mean, that's a pretty good contract to play football. Absolutely. Kiss the passes and run some routes. Absolutely. That's you know? a lot of money yeah. for you not to want to go over the middle. Yeah, he for you yeah. for you to drop your head and look at your quarterback. Well, I, I mean, I'm just saying, this is this thing. You got the big boy pay. We need to we, we need the big boy kitchens. We need we we need that from you, man. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, don't always look at I mean, we we gotta deliver, you know, these athletes want the big money. We gotta get the big plays. Y'all wanna be the highest man? Well, I know I'm an athlete and they ain't supposed to look at another man's money. Oh, I ain't supposed to look at your money, you but I'm looking at But I ain't no athlete. I'm for instance, like I know an athlete ain't supposed to look at another man's money, but when I look across the uh, down the street, down the highway over there, the American Airlines, and I see these cats coming here, you know, from the Celtics side of three hundred million dollar contracts. Man, I'm just trying to survive for twenty hundred million. Well, if I keep going across the middle and surrendering my guts, because my quarterback uh, making me, uh, I ain't gonna get that second one. Go work at Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all I've got to tell you. You want to play a gladiator sport, but you don't want to be a gladiator. You want you want to play a sport that you know causes CTE. Yeah. Now you want to complain about getting CTE. Yeah. You know, you can't have it both ways. I mean, you, you know, know, I'm just saying, you know how I feel. Yeah, I'm just yeah. a barbarian, man. We, you know, we, we barbaric. We're old school. Yeah. You know, if, yeah. if you, if you don't, if you don't want to dance to the music, please don't play the mic. You, you know, if you can't stand to eat. Get out the dang kitchen, man. Oh, we came for. Yeah. Funny know we came Yeah, for. yeah. You know. You know, you yeah. came here yeah. to get the big boy pay. Yeah. We need the big boy results. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You gotta get that, matter of fact. And I I mean, you know, and the and the way they're giving out money now in sports, see, cause this is the whole thing. CT is just a Jefferson. They just set the ball because when uh Tyreek Hill contract is probably end up in the next year or two, he's gonna get more money than that. Jamar Chase is gonna get more money than that. Whoever the top receivers that's coming up, they're going to get 36, 37, whatever. So they just sitting the ball for other yeah, people. No and I'm not mad about it. And But but this is the thing. Well, I, I, I got, I'm going to hold that for some of the other conversation. But like I say, CD, we need the big boy plays for me, man. Oh, yeah. And I, I think, I mean, he's CD showed up. I mean, he hasn't always made the, uh, the, the, the timely catches. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, we've seen him drop some balls, some wide open balls, but you know, it's and and, and he's not. It's rare. It's yeah, yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's not even the wide open balls that uh that I want CD catch. I want CD catch some of the fit to fit the balls because he pre catch very few of those. I mean, just this is just I don't have those statistics. I don't have no numbers, but when I watch the game and I see the defensive back kind of reaching in CD hands for the ball, yeah. a lot of times, you know. I'm, I'm saying if you want to be that guy, you got to be that guy. But this is my thing with that. Like, they brought route runners in here for Dak, right? Because he had the best 50 50 ball catcher in the league. Dude. And they got rid of that. Oh, well, he's right. Well, well, you know, Dan's at the end of his career, coming off of injuries and all that stuff. He wasn't, no, he wasn't in his prime. Yo, yo, Dan, Dan's came over the injury, remember? What injury was that? Oh. The Achilles and all that stuff. Oh, no, I'm talking about when he was here in Dallas. Like, he he, he did that Achilles and. Uh, no, well, he had, no, he had an injury here in Dallas at the toward the end. You know, Dan got here. I, I remember this whole thing. Every quarterback can't throw to every receiver. Every receiver not be every quarterback. Well, I mean, you know, it was a whole thing. They said that, uh, you know, he, he couldn't come in because, you know, he didn't run a good route. So they brought Amari Cooper. They went and got City Lynn. They got good, got good route runners. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, and they got the yards. So, and they got the yards. Well, can't be the problem. You know, I mean, well, you're a good route runner, but even if it if it comes to a 50, I'm just saying these guys got the big, I ain't here to debate nothing, but I'm just saying you got the big play. Just, just do the big, big play. 
Yeah. Just, I mean, you know, because all this is coming up short, looking to point the finger at each other, yep. all that. Y'all got to stop. Everybody got to take accountability for their part. Yes, sir. Yeah. Everybody got to take That's accountability right. for their part. And, and right now, the Dallas Cowboys has got a lot of guys that have been coming up short in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, but man, I'm so happy we got this deal done. Oh yeah, yeah. me too, me too. I expect and seven wins now. You know, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna do too good, especially without CD Lamb. But you know, seven wins. You know, seven wins. Unless well. so that can carry us to the playoffs. And seven wins, but seven wins. But oh yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, no. You ain't going down like that. No, Dallas gonna get 11, 11, 12 wins. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that regular season team. They'll be number 12 in the regular season. Are they a Super Bowl team right now? Do you think they are a Super Bowl winning team right now? Read my lips. What I just said. That's a regular season team? Yeah. Okay, that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> Dallas going to get 11 to 12 wins in the regular season. So and the conversation is over after that. Yeah, so and the gotta, conversation is over after that. that Super Bowl yeah, we ain't got to talk. Let's that's talk about something else. That's ridiculous <laughs> right now. You know? I mean, all I'm going to say, boy, if they win it, if they win, I even go to the Super Bowl. Every time I had to fall right for them. And I'm telling you like this, if they go to the Super Bowl, Dak Prescott's going to get the bag, man. Yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> hey, if, if, he win one or, if he win one or two playoff games, he's going to get the bag. <laughs> I don't know, and that can bring us up to our next subject. Oh, yeah, where the wild. Trey Lane. Oh. Now, I know a lot of people are down on the, the, the fact that the young man had five interceptions. So what? Go out there and sling it, son. We got tape. Show me what you can do. You know, I agree. We, we can teach you how to how to uh, see the see that this is not the, the the best play right now. You know, we can. These are all teaching moments. Those five interceptions don't bother me. I'm excited about what I saw. I saw an out wrap, uh, a well thrown ball on time, left the hand. Haven't seen that pass in a while in this in this organization. Uh, I saw some nice uh, over-the-shoulder passes on that scoring drive that he had. Uh, to his receiver throwing it to the outside shoulder, over the outside shoulder, well-placed balls. There was a ball dropped by a tight end, and he had a guy on his back that that uh, that uh, Trey Lance threw perfectly right here, the only place that he could throw. The ball wasn't caught. It was a good pass, though. Yeah, he had five interceptions. It's all good. Again. There's sophomores in college that have more passes than Trey Lance right now. The man got under 400 passes, and he, he didn't play all of 2023. He didn't play for the preseason for San Francisco in 2023 or Dallas and didn't play all year last year. So this is his first time back in a whole after a whole year out. Like, I ain't saying he ready to go start tomorrow, but I think we got a quarterback in the future, and I don't think that's going to get that money here. What you think? I think it's gonna be a long. He got a long way to go, and a short time to get there. That's all I gotta say about. Why you say you got a short time to get there? I mean, if you, if you ain't gonna sign that, you got you got to get there by the end of the year. You got. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Yeah, that's, that's that's all I'm saying. He got a long way to go, and a short time to get there. That's all I'm saying. I just yeah. I just. And I mean, well, because bringing up Jordan Love because he started out two and six last year with some horrible losses. Yeah. You know. And got more reps, you know, and even before that two and six start last year, anytime he came into the game, he looked like a mistake. Like what was Green Bay thinking when they drafted him really with a first round pick while Aaron Rodgers is there? Y'all really gonna do that for this guy? Like you do something like that, then you, you better believe this guy gotta be special. And you know, uh, he turned that thing on around last year, you know, but after that Super Bowl. I will say this, San Francisco. 49ers yeah. have been very good with quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. And the ones they get, yeah. and then when they sip them away. I mean, they, they Alex Smith, he was good. It, with the 49ers. He did one in two years he was with Kansas with City. Kansas City. Stayed there. Jimmy G, but the 49ers sent him away from that. He ain't did nothing. All I'm uh, just saying, I mean, the 49ers are you good at Quarterback evaluators, Absolutely. because they, the the because this is this is what I've seen over the Forty Niners do better better than anybody with quarterback. Man, they keep you two or three years. You can take them to the Super Bowl. Yeah, if you don't win it, you out of there. 
Yeah. Started with Alex Smith. Yeah. Then it went to uh, yeah. Colin, Colin yeah. Kaepernick. Yeah. Then it went to Jimmy G. And then now, now they're pruning. They're they kind of, the Kaepernick can kind of excuse himself out of that. But he was already on the bench when he excused yeah, himself right. out. Right. Before he started all that, he was already on the bench. You're right. The, the 49ers is, is real good with quarterback. Yeah. So I'm saying, if you didn't, at the 49ers, that's, that's all I'm saying. They've been real good with quarterback. Yeah. And they might have one too many. I don't know. He's I don't same, know. He's the same age as my, my rookie quarterback in Denver. Yeah, I just got to wait and see. Well, what's my boy's name? Uh, Bo Nix. They're the same age. Exactly. At about 24 years old. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the same age as uh, Zach Wilson. Okay. But I'm just saying. He's a, he's a young buck. But and, and if you're not going to sign that, he got a short time to get out. That's all I'm saying. They ain't going to sign that. No, I'm okay. With it. That's all right. I'm cool with it. I'm cool, I'm cool with having a, a down year next year if we had to. Everybody's up for Trey Lance to be Everybody is cool Step with it. And had it, had it, had it, had it <laughs> sweet come over a lot like what Jordan Love went through. Had that switch come on and then just take off. I'd love to see that out of the young man, but I'm not going to set those expectations. You know, I do. I was just saying to you to develop. All, all, all I'm saying, everybody got to be cool with it. And everybody's cool with it. Jerry Jones cool with it. Yeah. Uh, uh, even Dak Prescott is cool with it. Cause, yeah. Because Dak Prescott knows that if Dallas don't give the money, somebody else will. He thinks so. Yeah. And that, and that's been proven yeah. fact. Because all the quarterbacks that they, that they didn't even do as good as he did when they got ready to go to other teams, they was washed up and everything. They still got the money. No so, I mean, but just by history, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's looking like if he don't get 50 or 60 million, from Dallas, he'll get 50, 60 million from somebody else. You know, big time players from Dallas, they, they haven't really. Zeke was the only one that actually signed somewhere, and it took him forever, and he got low money. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, that on him. But if Zeke would have did that when he was leading the league and, 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 and rushing, it, it would have been different. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I'm just saying that if Dak Prescott have a similar year to what he had over the last two years, similar, Three, four thousand, uh, uh, 30, 33 to 3,800 yards passing. Yeah. Uh, 29 to 36 touchdowns with uh, nine, 10 interceptions. That's, that's, that's bag money all over the league. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what people go by. I mean, you know. I think they're underestimating. A lot of people are underestimating Zeke. Do you think Zeke is, you know, pretty much washed up? Oh, no. Zeke is, Zeke is, uh, he got, he got a thousand yards last year, 600 rushing, 400 receiving. If he can come in and get six or seven hundred yards rushing and, and uh three, four hundred yards receiving in, in in Dallas this year, that's a that's a successful year. And and, and if he can pick up those uh third down uh, uh blitzes like he did in the past, that'll be a good year and he'll do better than anybody else. I don't know who else we got gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. And those are and those third down blitzes are way more important than people think they are. Oh, absolutely. Now that's that's what I was saying. You know, I think that's what Michael, Michael Parsons is going to get off in his defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's going to be a stand-up three instead of a, a stand-up four. Or, or, yeah. Yeah. You know, that that outside four, you are, you are, you are outside slash D. And you got to be a big ball. Yeah. You got you to gotta, you know, be that. You got to be 255, 260 yeah. almost. Yeah. Because you got to stand up sometimes. Sometimes you got to put your hand on the ground. And that 240 and 237 and 235 ain't going to get it. No. Nah. No, he say two forty five right now, and that's good. But that still ain't big enough to be out there. And not not put your hand in the dirt already. No, and, 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 and and you gotta be, you know, if you gonna do that, you gotta be Lost Taylor. Yeah. Lost Taylor could do that at two forty five. It ain't too many people have done that at two forty five or fifty like he did it. Yeah. So uh, this this past week, I put up a poll on uh, on the uh, Nunes page to to see what the people thought about this. You know. Uh, basically asking who will be the starting quarterback in 2025. Uh, I'm not going to put it up on the screen right now, but I'm going I'm to tell you all the results that, uh, that have come across so far to this point. But I'll, uh, let me see as I pull this thing up. Appreciate your patience out there, man. And I appreciate you watching, man. Whomever's out there, if you see something, say something, please feel free to get your name and let's talk about it, you know. We having a good time today. Having a good time this evening on here. Just, uh, you know, uh, typically we have our show on Wednesdays around noon. We're doing a little something different this evening. Yeah. I uh, got some obligations tomorrow, so 
uh, doing what it do. So, um, oh my gosh, what's going on right here? Back off. All right. See me land look happy to the mug. Oh, yeah, you got that mug. I want to look happy. Yeah. Better be happy, boy. I'd be worried about you if you wasn't there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, the community has answered to the poll. Who will be your starting quarterback next year? Uh, 64% currently say Dak Prescott. It's just switched quite a bit since last time we saw it. Uh, 11% say Cooper Rush and 25% say Trey Lance. As to who will be the Dallas Cowboys quarterback by the end of the 24-25 season. Oh, yeah, Dak will be the starting quarterback by the end of end of this year? Yeah. Dak will still be starting. It'll be Dak? Yeah. You think yeah. it'll be? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think but be then, see, but this is the whole thing. You know, Father, if Jerry don't sign him and Dak do good, it's going to be, you know, Jerry going to have to pay more than he would if he signed him now and if he, because somebody else is going to go give him the bag. Don't pay him, Jerry. We got too many yeah. pieces and parts. And we got some guys back there I think they can win us some games. We already saw Cooper Rush can win us some games. I want to see Trey Lance continue to develop because he's an athlete that we don't have at that position. I don't know if we've ever had that type of athlete at that position that I see back there. Hey, what, quarterback? Absolutely. Absolutely, we have. Roger Starback? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. I didn't, okay. I, uh, well, absolutely. Since, since, since I've been watching, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Roger, Roger could run and throw. They had to, Roger, yeah. Like that. Yeah, Roger, Roger's a great athlete, man. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, what's Roger Sporting though back in the game? Um, Did y'all want to back in the game like that? Roger, Roger's, uh, let me tell you like this, Roger's, Roger's time was a, was a real time. Uh, Roger, Roger could run four, four, five, four, six. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because I'm going to tell you this here right now, I don't believe in four, two and four, three. I don't believe in that. That's a, that's a, that's a football four, two. In the in reality, you know, if they did, I mean, that's a whole other story. But I'll, I'll let. Oh, what you mean? I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave huh? Hey, tell me what you mean by that. What's that? The four two. Like a real four two versus you know. I mean, I mean, what's a what's a what's a football four two? It's not a not a track and field four two. He's talking about meters versus like. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm talking about just period. <laughs> just period. <laughs> period. You see, you see, you say both. Run a four two in the flats and jeans. Oh, we talking about track versus the ver versus, versus lazy. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. Okay, stuff okay, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Gotcha. So so gotcha. so you know, Roger Roger was uh Roger was a was a. I, I'm not saying he as fast as Trey Lance, but I would say Roger's about a good athlete as Trey Lance. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if he's not as fast. He's on a half a step or a step slower. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know Roger oh, yeah. has some wiggle now. Oh, oh yeah, Roger can play basketball. And, yeah, yeah, Roger can. Yeah, yeah, Roger can do a lot of things. Yeah, but but you know, but all, all, all I got to say is that these guys got to develop. And if and if uh, and if uh, Dallas don't sign back, all I can say is that we go we gonna get ready to struggle for a few years. I mean, I'm 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 okay with that. I rather you okay. You okay with that too? You have to go through. I'd rather struggle than yeah. I mean, because I can, I can, you know, I can ride with Kansas City, the, the Dallas Texans, until we figure it out. Oh, oh, with Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna ride. Oh, I'm gonna ride. I've been riding with Kansas City. So, I ain't tripping. We can oh, take yeah. our time, you know. Oh yeah. I got at least eight more years. <laughs> Five or eight more years coming out of Kansas City, so we good on that. But yeah. uh, you know, no, I just, I just want to see us, you know, green go. Move on. Yeah, we need to rebuild. Something has to give. Something's got to change in the organization, man. Uh, such that Ron Blaine came out, got injured in in uh, training camp. Like, geez, the ways, man. Like, holy cow. You know, Appreciate the light right there, you know. And I think uh, though, and I, yeah, no, it's, it's just, and I uh, think though, the main thing that's got to change in Dallas is a mindset, man. The mindset of of our uh, players not finishing. Yeah. You know, not finishing. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean I'm not talking about just the game. Finish the season. Yeah. Finish the game. Finish, man. Yeah. You know, the I mean, season. That's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's an all sports now across the board, though. You know but I'm just saying that's a problem in Dallas right now. Yeah, no doubt. Is that, the, that we don't finish. We start well. Yeah. You know, we can we can start a bonfire, but it'll go out. Yeah. We ain't got enough laws to keep it burning. Yeah. yeah. 
Same. Yeah. I was going to go check this audio really quick while we're talking, you know. But, yeah. Uh, you know, that's what's going down these Dallas Cowboys, man. Can't believe the Ron Blaine got injured, you know. It is. Yeah, that's going to hurt us a little bit. No worries, I don't know. I mean, we, we got some good young BBs, though, in that drill. Oh, yeah. You know, it was a very uh, competitive uh, training camp, you know. Like, oh, yeah. You know, in these games, you know, our defense was a turnover machine. Um, you know, hey, it, went, it, it all evened out. You know, uh, Trey gave him back the ones that we took. Oh yeah, you know, but it's all good, you know. Um, just looking forward to 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 what's what's to come, man. But we're gonna keep this train rolling, keep it rolling, baby. We gonna jump on the college, or we go? Oh. Yeah, let me let me see here. Now we got the overrated, underrated, or we can go straight to straight to Florida State. Ah, uh, nah, nah. You know, we 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 got we got a little more a little more for, uh, NFL to talk about. Just what's going around the league, you know. Oh yeah. Uh I just need my my folders are not popping up correctly at the moment, but no, we work. Well, we got uh, Justin Fields and uh, and Ooh, Wilson yeah. uh, uh, up in up in Pittsburgh. I would say it like this: if I if it was a question, I'm gonna go with I'm, I'm gonna always take the younger guy over a guy that's kind of halfway washed up. You know, uh, but I think Russell Wilson halfway washed up. Yeah, it was. A- a bad, a bad showing. Like the whole preseason, preseason was not a good look for either one of them. But Russell Wilson did throw a uh, touchdown in his last preseason game. Um, I don't know how much you know weight that really. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna be. You know, a lot of people think because I tell the truth all these guys. I'm gonna say it like this: I ain't never been that impressed with Russell Wilson ever. I mean, he, he's never just been that type of cat. I, I, I mean, you know, they they always talk about what he did to sell, but just like I sell on with defense, right? Yeah, and yeah. Russ stole that interception that killed him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. no matter what the call was, you know, you can blame oh, he should have gave it to Marshawn Lynch, but once you had to play, yeah, you know, do something. Don't don't, don't, don't throw it. Was, Throw it away, but don't throw an interception. Yeah, so, you know, I was at fourth down. I was at third. No, nah, I, uh, I believe it was fourth down. Oh, but yeah, they had to do something. I don't, I don't know but if it was fourth down. It was, might, might have been third down. Yeah, but still, if it's third, I mean, you know, but you just can't do that. You know, and uh, I am never, I mean, when I say Ben and Prince, I, I like that the, the, the deal that uh, Seattle won the Super Bowl and they had a great team. Seattle had a great team. They did. But, but Russell Wilson, to me, it was never just that dude that got uh, quarterback. To me, you know, uh, to me, he made some great play. He what Russell was great at was extending drives. He will kill you on a third down and keep drives going. Yeah, that's yeah. what he could do, and he never really sustained no. He didn't hurt no leg or no like nothing like that. So he's been a very elusive quarterback, and he's got a strong bottom half. So he, you know, earlier in his career, he was much harder to sack than he is now. Yeah. Uh, um, and he's he's an accurate passer, you know. Um, you know, I said Drew Brees before. He's not as accurate as Drew Brees, but not even close to me. I mean, not even close in his, in his, to me. That that's just my opinion. He's had his moments in his career. He's had his moments now. Not not like Drew Brees. No, nah, Drew Brees. <laughs> <is a different laughs> yeah, Drew Brees. I mean, I'm saying he's but small. Yeah, all this when I when I compare them, I'm more talk about the size. Yeah, 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 size, size, and, and their ability to to you know see and. That's got to be real hard to see over them trees and find. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know? Yeah, you but, gotta, but like I say, Russ, Russ, Seattle was more of a team than a, I mean, which which every team is a, more of a team, but but it was not driven like Russ was driving them to me, to me. Yeah. I mean, it was more of a, when they was, when they was really good, it was a more of a Marshawn Lynch drive. Oh, no doubt. Just, you know, that's how yeah. everybody in the world knows they just a clear that drive. With a Marshawn Lynch care. With that Marshawn Lynch care, you yeah, know, when that Super Bowl. I mean, everybody, except, you know, except it is what I tell you. Yeah, I oh, don't want to. Basically. Don't, don't want to. Didn't, 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 didn't think so with Pete Carroll. I'm telling you, man, like, goodness gracious, but that's that's, that's one of the worst worst calls in the history of the game. But, but I would go with Fields just on age. Yeah. Because Fields might can learn something about um, – yeah. Russell ain't gonna learn nothing new. You know, I've seen Justin Fields ball, man. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna take you. I mean, he got and he, he really was, had nothing to throw to, like nothing around him in Chicago, like not much. You know, not much at all. Yeah, he, so. he started finding chemistry last year with uh DJ Moore. Yeah, but 
outside of that, you know, he, he never really had anything around him. And he just, you know, I, yeah, but I, I was you. always very impressed with the kid. Yeah, I'll take him over. I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i not in practice every day, but I'm just saying, just from what I know about sports, I would take Justin Fields, start him over uh, Russell Wilson. At this point, you know, Russell and his career. Now, I'm not saying he's a better quarterback or not, but he's younger. He's got more upside. He's more – I probably can coach him up. Russell is kind of set in his way. Oh, yeah. He no, thinks he know how to read defense. Yeah. All right. yeah, he, that's why – that's yeah, why yeah, uh, Sean yeah, Payton – that's why him and Sean Payton did sit the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He thought he was smart as Sean Payton almost. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of wild to me. But, uh, no, that's cool. But uh, also congratulations to – already mentioned in the, in the show – uh, Bo Nix, uh, you know, getting that starting job out there in Denver, man. He won it over uh, Zach Wilson. A lot of people anticipated that was going to happen, but man, I don't, you know, I think it's still a a, a battle out there because oh yeah, I expect Wilson to be a, a solid quarterback with a, a good coach. Because I don't, I mean, though, for me to just take Bo Nix and to light up something, I mean, he might, but who knows? We got, but that's why they play the game. We got wait and see. We got to wait and see. Yep, yep. But moving on to the next subject. On to the next one. On to the next. Man, so NC Double A, man, got cracking this past weekend. Man, my money falls out of Echo with my ex. What's up? Just like, come out of the blue. Yeah, man. But, you know, I'm not too much worried about it, even though it's very annoying. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that fixed. Hold on. Yeah, man. Let's need a, just need a solid second, y'all. You know, just need a solid second. From the people, man. Let me, let's make sure we like it. You might have fun. I'm gonna come over here and do this. Taking my time with it. Yeah, that's um, why. But maybe I fix it, maybe not. But if not, I figured out how I can fix it. <laughs> Regardless, uh, to to make my my AI tools are amazing. You know, to fix my audio, clean my audio up. But anyway, moving on. Fast weekend was a good weekend for the SMU Mustangs, man. Got their first win over Nevada of the year. Over Nevada. Yep, that is correct. No, no, let me see if this thing fixed real quick. Does SMU still have the same coach? Oh, oh I I have no idea. They had uh, uh, You're talking about June? Uh, June Jones or whatever the name was? No, no, they had another coach. I uh, saw him. It was somebody saw him. Oh, he had coached that another. Did he came from TCU? I have no idea. I don't either, dog. So, so let's keep moving. I got to do a little research on SMU coach. Yeah. I, if I hear it, I know it. I know I know it, but I can't call it right now. You can't call it right now. Yeah. But, he did, but he's been doing a pretty good job at SMU. Hold up. Hold up. One second. One second, man. I can't. This is... It's, uh, <laughs> it's I, I don't want to go too far back, but yeah, I'm gonna okay. say, I'm gonna say it's just the Pony Express. Is, oh, okay, I buy that since before the Pony Express. Well, you know, it was um, yeah, <laughs> SMU uh, had one of the first black players in the uh, oh yeah, in the Southwest Conference. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Jerry Levice, and they treated him bad, what? and they and they did him bad. Wide receiver, wide receiver slash kind of like wing back. Okay, you know, he was catching a lot. Yeah, catching a lot of balls. He ran a few. He was doing everything for SMU. You know, so I was glad that they got him. But yeah, they hit him so bad. It was a, it was it was a it was a rough situation. But uh, that's a whole different subject. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I like SMU. Eric yeah. Supporting Express, Eric Dickerson, and uh, Craig James. And uh, yeah, I plan on having Craig James on the show uh, here. You know, soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, just gotta reach out to him and and see what's cracking. You know, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and a whole lot of those people don't know 
Then there was another guy in the Pony Express at first, but he got hurt. Charles Wagner from Dallas Carter. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And can I see that? Uh... Yeah, and uh, actually, actually, all their freshman year, it wasn't no Craig James. And then in their freshman year, Craig James was the odd man out of the Pony Express. Oh, uh, straight up? Yeah. So he, he had a red shirt? Uh, no, he just, no, he, he got a... Uh, the freshman year, Charles Wagner was actually the leading rusher. Eric Dickerson was second. Craig James had about two, three hundred yards because he didn't get that many carries. Wow. So and then when uh, Charles Wagner hurt his neck, yeah, uh, it, actually he was starting over Eric Dickerson. Yeah, so it's crazy. So Eric Dickerson moved yeah. to the moved, moved to the number one, and Craig James moved to the number two, yeah. and Charles Wagner was out because of injury. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's, you know, so man, that's pretty wild. Enough. Yeah, so I've been, you know, so. Is that, so. Could that other guy was he fast? Was he uh, like a? He was everything. A bulldozer or what? Nah, he was everything. He was he was uh he. He wasn't quite as fast as Dickerson, but he's about the same size, six three. He's a little bit more physical, ran a little different, but yeah, he was he was that dude. He was that dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, yeah, man. Then also, I think the biggest upset of last week, the biggest game of last week, uh, end was uh, Florida State and Georgia Tech playing over in Dublin, Ireland. Man, and it's crazy. Before the game, it's a, a character on WWE, formerly WWF. By the name of Shayla, he's the champion. He picks. Uh, he's the only one on the whole panel to pick Georgia Tech. Only, I know Shayla was him. Yeah, he said they had a they had a, a kicker. They said Georgia Tech had a kicker from from Dublin, so he went. He was gonna ride with the home team. All right. And uh, doggone Georgia Tech ends up just completely surprising everybody. All like first game of the season is an absolute upset. They weren't even ranked. Florida State went in ranked number ten, but you know DJ Ulalangale, like he well he is who he thought he was. You know, yeah. like every way he's gone, he hadn't necessarily just played up his potential. Played up, he hadn't played up to his potential. He had, you know, he he hadn't. That's it, really. And that holds the rest of the team back because <laughs> people bring him in because of his potential. But but this is the he, thing. But this is the thing. Have you ever noticed the only time you hear the word potential? When? When they don't do good. Because if you doing good, it's no longer potential. Oh, you you know, yeah. Yeah, you got to say that. Yeah, I, I mean, but most of the time, when you start bringing, when you hear the word potential, that means he ain't did squat. Yeah. That means that yeah. he, you, we think he can do it. You, right. you know, and every time I hear potential, I'll be like, okay, but. Uh, I don't see We'll we'll see, but yeah. But even after the even if a guy come in training camp playing good from his rookie season, we don't we don't hear the word potential. We hear yeah. oh he developed faster than we thought he was. Yeah, we yeah. don't hear the you know, when when you hear yeah. potential, that usually means to to, to we. I'm just saying, pay attention. Most of the time, when yeah. you have potential, go check the record. Yeah, you right. ain't that. We think he can do so, but he ain't proving nothing. Way he ain't proving nothing. Yeah, yet. man. So, so I hate that word. Dang. I hate the p word. Big boy, I hate the p word. What do you say, man? Potential. That's that's some foreign word. We still don't know what means. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm, and I'm with Mike Marvin. We hadn't. It is not. <laughs> and they get they, they came to do anything. You ain't getting what you want. Yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, so all that potential. I hate that word, man. Yeah, man. That means you ain't did nothing yet. Hey, it, can, it, can, it can be a sore thumb if you don't, if you don't yeah, prove man. yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, like that's that's crazy, man. But um, you know, yeah, it's just a a, a a horrible loss. You know, we're gonna see how Georgia Tech now. I will say this: Georgia Tech came out there with some athletes on the field. Now they had some big boys on that D line. That O line was moving some boys out the oh, way. Geez. Georgia Tech, uh, and they over gotta, the years, you just can't write them off. Yeah, over the years, you got, you got to come to play, Georgia Tech. I'm talking about going way back to back in the '70s and '80s. Yeah, if you, I mean, Georgia Tech may not have, uh, they may not have, you know, be a number, might not be being the top ten. But when you play Georgia Tech, if you don't come to play, you you, you, you might, might go on, on yeah, you know, with them. Yeah, with your tail between your legs. Man. George Tech always been like that, man. Man, that's crazy. And then, then George Tech have had a few elite teams. You know, but they ain't never nobody. Oh, we go, we play at George Tech, chalk that up as a win. Yeah. No, no, no. That ain't no homecoming squad. No. Nah. No, nah, they ain't no homecoming game. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that was a home game for, for Georgia Tech, too. Yeah, I, I man, that was 
I mean, they had some athletes, like the running back was toting that thing, man. They had some, you know, the quarterback, he, he's a third-year guy. He started at, at oh, Texas yeah. A&M. Oh, yeah. You know? And uh, it was just, you know, a heck of a game to see. You know, like, I was silent. Like, I just kept feeling like Florida State was going to eventually turn it on. Turn it on, but they never did. Uh, Jordan Travis wasn't there to turn it on for them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and DJ Ulalongalele, uh, Ulalongalele. I'll be saying that. Lele. Lay -lay. Yeah, man. Yeah. He uh, lay lay another E. Yeah, <laughs> ugly. We're going to call him ugly right now. He playing real ugly, man. Yeah, I was DJ ugly. ugly, bro. You got you to gotta switch. You got to, hey, when you come in with that much experience, you expect it to win right now. Yeah, absolutely. Right now. Now, right now, and it, that's it. You expected to move the ball right now today. You're that tomorrow. big, you that with that arm, with those legs, and you're expected to produce right now. now. We're not questioning our offense, yeah. we're questioning our defense. And now, the defense was getting attacked on the edges, and they couldn't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, they got to figure that out. But luckily, you know. It's a new format for the playoffs this year. They got 12 teams going into the playoffs. Yeah. Right? So the Florida State absolutely still has an opportunity to make it there. They got to get some things fixed right now. Right now. They came with the easy way. They had to start working on that on the play at home. Straight up. Straight up. But Mike Norvell. Yeah, Mike know what's up. You know, Mike know what's up. You oh, know, yeah. Just, you know, got to do what you do. And I know he's got some other dogs at quarterback, too, so. You know, Mike ain't no one trick pony. He gonna figure it out. Oh yeah, and then the game of the week, this coming week. Oh, we got games of the week. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is. So uh, let me see him. Uh, Colorado. Let me let me let me shut that down. Starting off Thursday night. This ain't no slouch, y'all. This is like that uh, Terrence Crawford and Israel Majamal fight right here. You know. We got a, a a very confident, and I'm very confident in Colorado too, in in this matchup. I think uh, just based off of the the work I've seen and knowing that they're doing a lot of stuff I haven't seen okay. on that on that on that field. Yeah, uh, these boys out there competing, and that I don't think they're showing all they <laughs> all they rabbits. You know what I'm saying? I think they got some guys that can go. You go back and look at that transfer portal. They had 33 three stars. Three stars are the best kind of star to get. Because you got some really good athletes in there that maybe didn't get as much exposure. But now they got a chip on their shoulder because they know they Man, full five star. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, three. Uh, and they got 33 of them in the transfer portal. Oh, yeah. You know, and they got another like eight four stars or something like that. Yeah, then they got the, then they got the number one offensive line one freshman. Yeah, and they're, and they're in the country, and, so. yeah, out of high school. So yeah. the Colorado's absolutely rebuilding. It's gonna be a a heck of a test, man. You know, but, they, they didn't pick no North Dakota from as well. North Dakota State. Yeah, they might be yeah. FBS, but they are they are them and Appalachian State. They ain't got the best on. To be the Division One teams over and over, yeah, year after year, yeah. You know, I think uh, Appalachian State got a, they don't beat Michigan twice, I think, yeah, at least once. I know, I know, I saw them in the open the game in the season. Yeah, yeah I like, think they beat them twice years ago. And then, uh, and then, and uh, North Dakota State and Appalachian State. When you when uh, when a D one team play them, yeah, you got to come to play. Absolutely, you know. So I like the matchup. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I like the fact they didn't get a, a obvious. You know, the push over the St. Mary's. Yeah, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the I I U P U I U I U I. Because all yeah. those three, they don't get you ready. <laughs> they don't get you ready to play S O C team. No, no. They, they practice the big, well, practice uh, 12 team, the big they practice twelve teams and big twelve. Those teams don't, don't get you ready. Yeah, they big twelve now. I mean, I mean yeah, big big twelve and uh yeah, and the SEC Pac twelve out of it. That's the zone. That's right, sure it is, sure it is. A lot of those guys playing in the ACC and all over the place, which is wild to me. So why are you at C at? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. And Stanford and all of them. Uh, Big Ten, a lot of them went to the Big Ten. Oh, my God. A lot of them went to the Big Ten. But Why did the Pac-12 let that happen? I mean, they, yeah, you it, know what? It's I, I forgot about that. Yeah. Because it was so mind-blowing. I'm saying, yeah, Pac-12. It's gone out of there. UCLA, some teams flying all the way to the Big East. From the West Coast. Think about that schedule. You know what I'm saying? Think about the basketball schedule. Those kids ain't going to get no sleep. They, they fly more than NBA. 
I forgot about that. Yeah, because it was so. It was so dumb. So I still can't believe it. That, yeah. that's, that's probably why I forgot about it. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Shadur Sanders comes out, you know, and does with. I want to see this old line. They completely rebuilt the old line. Oh, Boys look good. They look big and strong. They can move back as well, and they look like they take pride in if keeping the quarterback clean. If they can keep Shadur, Shadur got sacked what fifty times? Ooh, a lot. I think fifty. Yeah, a lot. It was fifty. Way too many. Yeah, if they can get him down about thirty. Yeah. He probably going to light it up some stuff because he oh, like, it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he got some great targets on the outside, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shepard coming over from Vanderbilt. And, you know, of course, he got Travis Hunter and Jimmy Horn. And, you know, it's a lot of talent out there in Colorado, man. So, we're going to see what's up, man. I would love Joe, to see Joe. Joe, Joe Horn, Uh No, this is not. No, this oh, is another, another Horn? Yeah, this is another Horn. Oh, okay, okay you guys. I, man, I just... I found some stuff out about Joe Horn this this week. I didn't even, I didn't even know. Straight up, like yeah. you know, like what? Uh, Joe Horn didn't even play Division One uh, college football. What he what he play? Uh, was Joe he or something? Yeah, Joe Joe Horn played J, uh, junior college and then he then left there and went to bad groceries and played for uh, 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 semi pro and went to football. Yeah, and all that. Then made it to the NFL. Uh, I, I, I didn't even know all that's that. That's a journey right there. It, 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 that was a, I, I love seeing those man, passions. Man, man. Man. I know they do. We'll break the bell on Joe Horn. Hey, Joe Horn will catch that ball over the middle. Say. <laughs> for less Joe brain. Horn <laughs> are going to put a telephone and tell you, I'm going to catch a touchdown down there. So I'm going to put a telephone down there. So when I burn yeah, it, yeah, I'm going to go yeah, call the police. Yeah. It's a come protect these balls. Yeah, my boy yeah. Man, extreme uh, top of the uh, type A just confidence. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's a, those are the type of players I like. Absolutely. Oh, that's what I play with. Lucky can you stop over the tolling. What's that? I'm going to put one down there next week. I'm going to put a phone down there every yeah. week. Jump yeah. on. Go score a touchdown. Yeah. Every week. And then call the police on yeah, me. Sure, I'm going to show them six. At the time, 16 flip balls. Yeah. And I'm putting yeah, one down there. Every week. I'm going to point to the one where it's at. Yeah. So and, 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 and let Drew know so he can get it to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely, man. So, now, nah, but that, that North Dakota State Colorado game Thursday night is going to be a fun one, man. Be tuning in to that Friday night football action. We got University of Temple taking on OU, making their season debut. Right? I'm expecting OU to win. Again, this ain't going to be an easy matchup. Oh, Temple has some decent teams. Temple ain't ever been no run over. You know, no pushover, you know? I think we done drafted a few guys from Temple. You know, if I can if, if say correctly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it should be a, a fun one. Um, when I say we, I'm talking about the Cowboys. But no, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to, to this game as well. And then Saturday morning. So if you see, I've got this thing chronologically ordered into which games are going to come on first, right? Next up, we got Clemson versus Georgia. Clemson coming off one of their lowest years, and Georgia's coming off of a disappointing year where they were undefeated all season and lost to Alabama at the very end and didn't make the national championship playoff because of that loss. A lot of people think they were the strongest team in the nation even though they lost to Alabama, right? Yeah. The Alabama and Texas both had one losses or one loss going into that game, but they lost early. They, yeah, they lost early. Now they were able to favorite. fill the case after yeah. that, right? And then Alabama lost to Texas and all this other stuff going on, right? So, and, we, you know, we come to find out both they top five in the money, uh, NCAA. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it had nothing to do with that. Texas number one. You know, absolutely. Absolutely. It, but it had nothing to do with the money, did it, NCAA. But, um, but no, nah, man, I know George is hungry to come out and, uh, you know, Prove was themselves it? to be number one again. What was said like Dion? Was that? It must be the money. Must <laughs> it must be, be the money. money. Yeah. Dion had a song guy called it must be the money. Yeah. What well, they say it ain't the money, but we gonna move it on. Keep it watching. Watch watching Shiloh and them boys dance to that is <laughs> is a trip. <laughs> because Dion hey. They dance hey. like they dad hey. <laughs> with the pink hey. suit on. With it, with the yeah. picture, uh, on. Must be the, yeah, they get it in, man. But yeah. um, uh, also in the game that I'm looking forward to most, as you see, hold on, let me. This is what we got you. This is what we got it for. I ain't gonna waste no opportunity. Uh, Not a one time this season. But you better believe if we start losing, you ain't gonna see it. Who know the name, guy? Know the game in the game of the week. Oh, no, oh, ain't gonna let it fall now. That's unlucky. 
That will be unlucky. Hey man, y'all know what it is. Notre Dame coming out the gates, man. We got something for you, Texas and m We coming to your college station. You better believe it, college station. You better be ready, college station. Because we coming for you, dog. And everybody else coming, walking in our path. You better believe we're coming for you, dog. I'm so crunk, man. This is going to be a great game. All, all, all I got to tell you, Jay, is that I'm going to teach you fighting the Irish how to fight, bro. Hey, we got some. Hey, I'm about to teach y'all how to fight. Oh, you know, See, all the, we got all the sons on our team. Yeah, you know what I got to say? I'm going to teach y'all how to fight. What? Put your, put your Irish guy back up here. Put your <laughs> So I'm going to tell you like this here. I already know that. <laughs> I'm going to teach him how to fight because he, he holds his hand. Yeah, like, hey, hey, y'all see this here? When you hold it <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that Irish torch. Oh, that's that Irish torch. Hey, 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 okay, yeah. hey, you know, hey no, no, I'm going to tell you like this. He going to have to do like a level call. You got to come out of hole or something. Hold his hand, man. Come on, man. No, I session, like, man. no, I like Notre Dame. If I go all the way back yeah. to Notre Dame. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I go all the way back to Air Force Seeker, man. Yeah. I go all the way back to Air Force Seeker. Yeah. No. Hey, I don't even know that guy. Huh? What's his name? Air Force Seeker? You don't know what that is? Oh, sir. You must, that's the best coach Notre Dame ever had. I see, I'm I, Lou Holtz was my guy. I know. He's really the wolf. Let him check him here. Hey, my bad. Air Force Seeker. No, but the. I'm so no. old game. I'm literally. <laughs> You know, I, I didn't go to school then, but I am an honorary member. You know what I'm saying? To the Notre Dame club. You know, I got a card and everything. Yeah, I, was, to you. I, was, I was giving it. Yeah. They, they tried to get you. No doubt. No doubt. I didn't do my part, though. Right. It's true. You know, so that's yeah. why my son makes straight A's. Yeah. So when Ty Willingham coming walking through the door looking at his grades, he don't turn around. Oh, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't time. It ain't time. It ain't time. It ain't time. No, Ty it's Curry, Marcus. No, Ty can't see you. Hey, Marcus is coming Ty, on hey, down now. Me and Ty will be both going to be in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> Ty will be in the living room, man. <laughs> oh, I'm just but no, I'm, I'm very excited about our team. Uh, Do you know about the youngsters on our team? Oh, oh I know they got a young squad. I don't know about, 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 about the juniors now. No, I'm, I'm going to say it like that. Yeah. And they got any attention more on that? I don't know, that. And they got any attention? Absolutely. Okay, but they got a chance. Hold on, now. Yeah. I just, I just want, you know, everybody can say. You make sure I don't miss nobody on this. No, everybody can say what they want to say about this here. But if you want to build a winning squad, you better get some boys from Texas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Florida got some boys, too. You know, we got Jerome Bettis' son playing out there for us right now. Okay. We got Plasco Burry's son out there playing for us right now. We got Ike Taylor's son out there playing for Ike us. Taylor, Ike Taylor, Ike Taylor, Ike Taylor. Uh, you know, we got them sons out there going hard. And I also think my boy uh, Ryan Clark's son out there. Is a is a possible sign that's ever seen. Uh, that's a great question. Man, you know Plots are cold. Ike Taylor, you know, it's, it's Ike Taylor for Pittsburgh. Yeah. AB. Yeah, pro- yeah, yeah. Uh, so cold, man. Yeah, Plots are cold bears to me. No, when I seen that dude in college, the first time I seen him, I called my home boy. I said, man, this dude named Plots are Wait, the Michigan State? Yes, sir. Michigan said, State? Man, that's a dude named Plots are cold bears. Michigan State, he going he to play pro. I said, man, I said that dude, I said that dude, you want to get seen it one day? I said, man, this dude can play. Yeah. And I would tell you like this, if uh, if uh, Plumsico would have never shot himself in the Oh, man. And went to jail. Plumsico was man, cold. Man, Plumsico was cold, man. Plumsico. People don't understand, man. Plumsico was cold. You no, know, that's Plumsico. why, you know, with all these guys, they talk about, he this, he that. I'd be like, man, there's so many guys. guys you don't even think about it. You don't even think about it. came through here and, and, and then made somebody break some of them up, I'd be like, you stop. Said, man, but as soon as I see Price to go play, I said that he is going to the pro. And he absolutely was cold blooded and did just that. Did exactly that. Did and if he would have never did that fool up in New York, yeah. I think Price would have been. Price could be a Hall of Fame man. I do. Yeah. That's what I think. Oh, uh, he should be. I mean, look, I mean, man, he, he they, they, they got Super Bowl because of you know, yeah, he, yeah. Got, he got that pass over my. I, I call myself cracking a joke on Ellis because a cat wore Plasco Birds in the suite last year, last year. Took a picture of it, sent it to my boy Ellis. It was like, oh man, I I got the same view as you. You know what I'm saying? Just that's him with him. Oh, it's over Ellis. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, he got touchdown on Ellis' ball. Yeah, he ain't not. He didn't hear it. 
I talked to him since, but he didn't think that was too funny. You know what I'm Whoa, saying? Whoa, I know he did. Nah, he didn't think that was too funny. I was just playing, dog. Ellis, I was yeah, just playing. Yeah, Matter of yeah. fact, y'all, we got an awesome episode with Ellis. One of our first episodes. That's my brother. Like, like, it's real. like 13. Ellis probably turned and played by something else, man. Hey, <laughs> man. It's, it's something he wasn't trying to. No, I'm with you. Hey, Ellis, I'm with you. So, hey, hey, man, you know, there wasn't the Super Bowl now. Uh, that was the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, no, I'm just, that's my pro. So no not a word. There ain't no home right there. You know, it ain't no word. No home, you know, ain't no hate, none of that going no, on. No, ain't no home. I'm hating with my bro, but hey, yeah, that, I think I took it a little far right there. He's saying, saying, it ain't no home and no hate. Unless you do it again. You know what I mean? It's going to be a prop. Come now, I know. Come now, I know. You know what I mean? It wasn't too funny. Hey, I'm going to change it like this. You should have known this first, Jay. You don't have to leave. But you don't have to leave. But you, you know, I, but you know I, when it's your brothers, you know your brothers can pick on you a little harder. They, they can say stuff to you other people can't say. So yeah, they try to get a crack for you. See, I'm going to tell you something, too. I can hear my brother in the eye and, <laughs> and, uh, and don't know why. Yeah, everything and and everything else. Yeah. But guess what? <laughs> the same way he cracked on me, I'm still his brother. When I hit him in the eye, he's still my brother. Yeah. Man, that's the truth, though. That's the truth. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just teasing. No, I'm just teasing with Ellis. Hey, uh, hey, I'm with you on Ellis. Hey, I'm, I'm with you, Ellis. Play by something else. Hey, that's, hey, that, <laughs> that day I learned, that's one silly thing is forever too. No, no, no. They ain't ever no time to joke about that. No, no, that's, no, no, no. that's a Super Bowl, bro. No. Yeah, man, but now nah, that was, I mean, my whole thing is, bro, you there. You you in the Super Bowl, bro. I, I, I ain't, you was in the Super Bowl, bro. Like, you was on the field. You was there, bro. Like, you yeah. did that, dog. Like, can't nobody yeah. take that from yeah, me, bro. Girl, take that's, why I'm, that's why I'm joking with you, because I already know how excited I ought to be. Yeah. yeah. The opportunity yeah. that yeah. Yeah. Well, like, God, don't But, but that's the way you was thinking. Like, yeah. yeah. But he was thinking, like, I don't care what I'm out. Yeah. I don't care if it was a peewee. <laughs> I don't care if I was at the park. Don't be... <laughs> Don't play with me like that, dog. That ain't funny, bro. That ain't funny, bro. That ain't funny. Nah, nah, nah. But nah, man, we're gonna keep it moving on. Man, it's gonna be a very exciting weekend of college football. I hope hope y'all get to tune in and enjoy some of that. But moving on, there is uh several women going off in the WNBA, uh, including uh Aja Wilson, man. Like Las Vegas Aces, they look like they gonna win, take another one home this year. Uh, like running with it, you know. Well, that's right now. We have to, we have to get the playoffs to see. Yeah, yeah, we gonna see. But I mean, but 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 right now they live. Yeah, yeah. Is it Aja or Asian? Aja, Aja. Well, I mean, they didn't. They, I mean, they, you know, so I, I, I hear around. I hear people who always say Aja, or you know, I don't know. That's the same way I, I heard the way it's said. spelled is Asia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's a. Uh, a apostrophe J A Asia, and you know how we like to do things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to switch it up. Like, like to switch it up, you know. Oh, Make a sound. Yeah, yeah. This is what it, this is what it sound like to me. So I'm a golden golden rope. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna yeah. be fly. This is a beautiful name, and it is a beautiful name. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful woman playing the game of basketball at a very high level with that name for the Las Vegas Aces, right? And she is more than likely gonna end up being the MVP of the WNBA. Right, that's what a lot of people expect, and I'm predicting right now. She looking like, yeah. Uh, well, uh, there is a young lady that was challenged that came into the season by many of the, the ladies, and you know, maybe maybe people making a big deal about it. You know, her getting pushed in, in games early on. I mean, I think it was pretty blatant when Scott Diggs like sped up to bump into it uh, last week when uh, they went out there and beat the Seattle um, Seattle Sounders. Uh, no, it's not the sound. It's what it is. It's so, uh, Storm. Yeah, Seattle yeah, Storm. Yeah, the sound of you is the soccer team. This is the whole thing. Yeah, you know, was a little blatant that she ran up copper too. Look, they obviously hate. Can't nobody deny they hating on the young lady at this point. Like, it's a fact. Not that's everybody. And I'm not going to make a general the, statement. That's, that's, the the way, that's the way it always is when you come in with a lot of fan fur. Mm -hmm. You come in with a lot of fan fur. Everybody want to know, are you... Who they say you are. Yeah. And every time they run into Kayla and knock her down or do something to her, she get up and prove to us that she heals who we think who we Absolutely. And, 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 and this is just the first year. Like I say, next year, the same thing won't be happening because they're going to be like, that's Kayla. Yeah. And then even the referees is going to have some talks. <laughs> when, you, when you reach to a certain level, the rough real corner say, say, man, you know, you know, you can't fire Kobe Bryant like that. Yeah, I'm on, man. Yeah. You know, they're not only 
Is this your paycheck? It's mine too. Yeah. All of us read about for this. Mm-hmm. You no, know, the rock police will come tell you that. Yeah. But all, all of me and everybody needs off Kangaroo. They got to stop that. And I'm going to call my people, see if we can get some tickets. She's here on September 1st. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think Asia Wilson's here this week too. Yeah, I think mean, on the 31st. But I'm going to see if I can grab some tickets, man. Yeah. Call my people. But that's just, but that's so just how it is. You're going to watch a play. But that's just how it is. When you yeah. come in, Enrique, that's yeah. what I want to see. Enrique yeah. go at Kaylin because they was on team. They was on the same team in the All Star game. Yeah, and you know, I I, I want to see that, and I don't know if Caitlin probably ain't gonna be guarding Enrique, and Enrique probably ain't not gonna be guarding Caitlin. But I want to see. Just, them just, just, just want to see. But but this is the this is the thing. If you're a three point shooter, I'm a three point shooter. I ain't gotta guard you exactly to try to outshoot you or to try to prove which one else is the yeah, best. Somebody else got to get. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but 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 doing the game. I pretty much must know that me and you the two best shooters in the league. Absolutely. One of us got to come out of here on top. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? And I'm and, 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 and the kind of mentality I have, I'm gonna try to make sure that it's me. Yeah. And I'm sure the kind of mentality Caleb Caleb got. <laughs> 1977 last. I night. think I think Caitlin is at to the point though right now. She's like, everybody know I can shoot. Let me prove I can play. Yeah. I mean, not to, not only to everybody else, but to her teammates, because her her overall play is what making the fever win, and not not the three point shoot. Yeah, so she ain't, she ain't hitting threes like not like she did in college. No, but but she's facilitating and she's controlling the tempo. Yeah, of the game. That's what people don't get on the. She was nineteen seventy seven, man. Yeah, time, right. When the, yeah when the when the ball is in your hand, you know the majority of the time. You control it whether we go fast, whether we go slow. Yes, yes. When we run, yep. when we slow down. Yep. So Caleb is doing all of that right oh, now. Yeah. And I didn't, and I never, I never saw that in there in college because she didn't answer. I mean, she she had to be the scorer. The yeah. team looked for her to put the ball in the bucket. And, and like that I say, it. me personally, just me personally, I have more respect for the way she's playing now than just coming out shooting up three. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because she's controlling the really? game. She controlling the game more than just uh, again. Yeah. You know, we talked about you know her not being on the Olympic team, and I mentioned you know when she gets to around other players, she don't have to shoot as much. We might see her game expand. Absolutely, she's not even on the Olympic team, but we're seeing her game expand around other professionals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And we never was gonna see that in Iowa. We're no. never gonna see that. No, you know, and we didn't know she and, could do it. Absolutely, she didn't have to. Yeah, and and that team uh, needs her to do other things. Yeah, absolutely, and, and she's doing it at a very high level. Oh, well, you can't nobody know. say nothing. Did you see the interview of her last night? Because early in the game, she like she may have rolled her ankle, and, and you know, people, you know, she's on the ground for a while and everything. You see the interview after the game last night. They asked her about her ankle. You know, how's your ankle feel? She was like, that looked real soft on camera. You know what I'm saying? She's like, but that that really hurt. But I'm good. I had to get back in the game and get back to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I think she is really she got nothing else to prove at this point to anybody. But well, she she wants people to know, like, well, she I, got, I'm here. You she know what she on a different level. I'm, she I'm 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 ready to play her. Yeah. Her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you can't take me out. I'm here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm the toughest. Like, she's got a very Strong mentality. Oh, oh yeah, she got a, but she still got something to prove on the NBA level. Yeah, she like, NBA. I mean, first the the, the, the thing you got to prove is that you can win. Oh yeah, and win be. Yeah, you know that that's yeah. all. Yeah, I mean, but for so far as her her play, everybody ought to be realized now she can play. You know, well, before that loss to the Minnesota Lynx uh, a couple nights ago, uh, I believe she had five consecutive wins against. 500 and up opponents. Yeah, in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, five. yeah, Indiana did. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. And, uh, I mean, we're talking about Minnesota was one of those teams. Uh, Seattle was one of those teams. Uh, L.A., uh, LA um, um, not L.A., New York Liberty. Yeah. yeah. Like, all the upper that, echelon playoff teams. They lost to the, the Aces real bad last time they played them. Yeah. But everybody else, like, they are in the game. Oh, yeah. And we're talking about a team that had, I think, 13 wins total in the past, like, a few seasons or something like that. Right? Like, hey, two seasons. Last two seasons, they had yeah. 13 wins total. Yeah, and that's, you know. And before that, like, it was it was worse than that. So, uh, 
I mean, she's a player, man. And she's been yeah. in her weight room, like I said, thick thighs, skinny ass. Oh, oh, first. She's been, she been going in. Love to see it. Oh, yeah. Love to see the work. Love to oh, see yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I do too. And like I said, uh, she needs to get in that weight room. And so far, you can, you can tell she's been in the weight room real hard. Absolutely. Real hard. Go punch. What's going down, big dog? I got something for you, man. He said, Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, What's going down? Everybody can relate to money. Yeah. Everybody can relate to that. Yeah, get to the money. But yeah, man, she's uh, she's been balling, man. You know, Angel Reese still been doing what she's doing. But you know, I hate the fact that I feel like every time I mention Angel Reese, I gotta mention Kayla Clark, and every time I mention Kayla Clark, I, feel like I gotta mention Angel Reese. Like, learn you don't have to. Don't have to, man. Like, I mean, but it's man. almost like they almost intertwine, man. Yeah, they do. I mean, you know, that's like. Just like it's hard to mention Magic Johnson, don't bring up Larry Bird. It's hard to mention Larry Bird, don't bring up Magic Johnson, because they're intertwined. Yeah. Yes, they You know, they played in college. They came in, changed the game in the NBA. Yeah. And they and they uh, battled each other throughout their NBA career. Man, was it the so, last topic? I mean, I know we had some boxing no, to talk about. Uh, I know we had some more. I thought we had, uh, don't make me say. You know, we, you know we got IMO around here now. Oh, yeah, I got a. I got a good uh, I am over. But 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 I'm trying to tell you, you know, I think I think we got we got I know we so Mayweather fought this past weekend. Oh my goodness. Right? That was uh a disaster. A Travis Shem mockery of boxing. Yeah. Uh Mayweather was the only one throwing hands. They was in there kissing. I think uh one of them got kissed on the cheek at one point. I think got to kiss Mayweather on the cheek. You like appreciate the M's, bro. We about to make all these off this hustle. Yeah, you know, because I know we really ain't here boxing. I'm not gonna really come at you. Now he came in Mayweather a couple times, but Mayweather's just too crappy of a boxer. He never really got in trouble. He never really got hit hard. He, I think, God, he might have punched him five, six times in the whole fight. Yeah, you know, and then this all the time. He was wearing punches like that, like that little mannequin at the. You got uh, at the <laughs> at the Dick's you know, in his door. I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. But I'm just telling you like this here. I don't want too many, I'll tell you, people kissing on me. Because all that, that kiss on the left, that means something on the right, on the left, all that means something, man. Yeah, man. I don't know what it means. How about they just get some bad, bro? You know, yeah, I mean, I'm talking about, I'm talking about in the middle of the ring, though. No, I'm talking With about. With boxing gloves on, you talking about peeing the light. No, I'm talking about dealing with mafia people. Oh. When, when they kiss you. <laughs> Something might you might come up missing. Yeah, man. I don't want y'all. I'm being serious. I don't want y'all. God, you kissing. Yeah. Kissing. Yeah. kissing on me, man. Yeah, no. Nah, people, people think that that stuff to disappear. It has not, man. How not? No, man. I don't mind it well. Oh, you know, like, come on, man. But you know, I ain't gonna talk on that. No, I ain't gonna talk on that. But I'm just saying, <laughs> for, for, for me, we can box, we can box, but don't kiss on me, man. Yeah. Not if you kiss on me. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's a wild thing, though. Like, what's going on right now? But, but uh, nah, you know, um, you know, we got some great boxing coming up in September. Uh, Tyson Fury uh, it, it ha has his rematch with Usyk in September. Okay. Epic Joshua is fighting in September. Uh, Canelo's fighting in September. So it's some good fights coming up in September, man. Yeah, Canelo fight. Um, uh, yeah, uh, but. I can't think of his name. Okay, okay. With a B. We, we talked about him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, yeah. you know, we, we're going to talk about him as the fight gets closer. Um, but a big dude, you know, um, confident dude. But, you know, I'd be confident, too, if I knew I was about to go and make them M's, oh. you know, to get knocked out, basically. You know, it's just like Canelo and Tank have a lot in common. And they, they uh, dudes hang around for a while, but when they <laughs> when them boys start coming after you, dog, and they see something, they know what they saw. And they're not scared to take your punch no more? Oh, yeah. Issues, man. Because I got issues, and you got them too. So you don't want me not. No, no, I don't want them issues, though. No, I don't want them, I don't want them problems. <laughs> I don't want them issues, yeah, though. Yeah. But uh, if you didn't know, now you know we have a new segment on the show. You ain't going to go to your boy Shane or Tiny? Oh, yeah, man. Father, uh, father. Where my stats at, man? Like, that's what I'm looking for. Man, you go out there far and far. Yeah, we got the we got the far that far that club in the building, man. So how many people in that far that far that club? I believe it's uh two other ones, but you you want to fact check me real quick? Uh, it's uh, I believe it's Barry Bonds and Willie Mays. 
Okay, you're about right. We ain't got to fact check that. I, I, I could be wrong. No, it yeah. could be more. I know uh, Curtis Grandison had a 30-30-30 here. And yeah, 30 bombs, about, 30 It's about 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. It's about six or seven people in that. No, it's only two. Is it? Yeah, it's only two. Uh, it's, it's the 30-30-30-30 club. 30 home runs. 30 home runs. 30 steals. 30 doubles. 30 doubles. 30 triples. Oh, oh, okay, that's a third and double. Yes, it's, they got so many really plays. And that's Willie Mays and Curtis Grandison right there. Yeah, Curtis was something else at one point in time. Yeah. I had a nice long career as well. Oh, yeah. I, I know but, Dr. yeah, let me, let me get this IMO down. I mean, I'm trying to find, there it is. My MLB graphic was down there hiding from me, boy. Yeah. Let's go. Appreciate that one. So, yeah. You know, talk about that boy show, eh? Farting. My balls and farting still. We're talking about pitching. Well, he ain't no pitching. He's not pitching this year. He's not pitching this year, <laughs> pitching this year but I mean, yeah. he came here as a pitcher. And I know, I know, uh, all that hitter, obviously. I know, all. Uh, I think the Smith is in some kind of, but well, it's probably hits or stolen bases. He has some kind of 30, 40, 50, something. You know, they got a lot of them. Yeah, I was, yeah. I just wasn't in them, them yaks like that. No, 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 no. Why, no, no, no. You're talking about hits, though, not yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, double, single, steal. Yeah. Some, yeah. yeah. And I saw a stat with Ricky Henderson. Like, somebody went out to steal, like, 50 bases for, like, 50 years. <laughs> 50 bases for 50 years. I saw that, like, God, go by God. God. I feel 50, 50 bases for about 25 years. Yeah. Ricky yeah. Henderson was my favorite. That's oh, all. yeah. Uh, yeah. Barry Bonds, Ricky Henderson. Barry Bonds and Ricky Henderson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ricky Henderson was that, too, yeah, man. That one back here. That one at the least was really tough, man. Oh, oh gosh. Them boys, man, they go hit that pot and, and go in that game. <laughs> Yeah, ain't that for the hundred miles time, boy. You hit that book of sugar. Yeah, hit that book of sugar. <laughs> that's what I can shot at yet. That's what I'll be doing the ball here yeah. by basketball player. He talking about he was on that book of sugar. I was like, man, you don't want them dudes to get on that book. No. They no. finna go a hundred miles an hour with a whole yeah. game. And pest you. And worries the whole. Get at so, you like a jerk. So what y'all talking about? Yeah. You know, so it's a, crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a whole other level. But man. yeah, that's that's an incredible feat with Shohei did. 40 home runs, man. And just, I love his swing, man. He it, That is like the, like, the epitome of the Japanese swing. You know, loaded up, everything just moving in unison, on leg, kick, beautiful foot down, and snap. Wow, let's get it, you know? Oh, that bad boy, you know, he hits the ball really hard and really far, often, you know. Yeah. Uh, but Shohei is very special, man. I, if you don't know, like, open your eyeballs, you know, go catch a game. Yeah, it ain't, it don't take much. And, uh, you know, we'll see if he ever pitches again. Because uh, the Dodgers are definitely getting their money back. I tell you that right now. Well, I think between the, the 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 Japanese and the Asian community, yeah, and the, the media over there, and the, oh yeah, the, the like it's an international game right now with Shohei yeah. right now doing what he's doing. You know, pitchers. I don't. I mean, I would. I wouldn't be surprised if he had no pitch again, because pitcher go now had effect on what, about thirty games at the most. 30, 35 games. Yeah, but what he he's a, he's a special guy. You know? But I'm saying like, that's, that's, that's a lot of games. That's yeah. a fifth of your games. But if you're but if you're an everyday player, you can have an effect on his six too. Absolutely. No, I don't. I don't know if he's. Uh, well, I don't I even know that. He might be in right field a little bit. I don't even. I haven't checked the seat. I think he's a DH. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that still has 162 games. You can. Yeah. You know, have he, a very. I mean, yeah, but that's nice pitching though. But but then if if you pitch in here, now that's like having. Uh, uh, effect on uh, on more games that's yeah, because you're pitching in it. That and that's a trip too. Because if you're pitching, usually you're definitely not hitting. Yeah. You got, usually got a DH hitting for your pitcher. Yeah, you even even if you're a hitting pitcher, somebody's usually hitting for you while you're pitching because your legs. It's a lot that gets taken out of your legs when you're pitching. People don't realize that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. It's a lot of effort, man. Your legs tire out. That's why pitchers, and, and when that's not, legs pitchers, pitchers run more than they throw. They're running miles. Oh, yeah. Like, they just take off. Like, they just say take off. And they'll go run through the neighborhood somewhere. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come on back to the field. Because you got to have them long legs. Yeah. Uh, and stretch for their ab work. Do they bay in work. 
and then shag balls in our outfit. That's that's what pitchers do. Yeah. You know, and pitch every five days if you're starting. Great life, great life, man. But yeah, shout out show, hey man, wonderful, uh, wonderful feet there, forty forty, man. You the man. I don't got to tell you that. You know it. Uh, you knew it when they offered you seven hundred thousand. But oh yeah, now nah, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do uh, underrated overrated this week. We can. okay? No, 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 no. We can. No, we can go ahead. I think we ain't gonna do that one this week. Yeah, we are gonna go to the IMO. This that's all one, there. The newest, hottest segment around. Y'all know what time it is, man. Let me hit that one and get hit you with that one while I put Shoei up, you know, let him let him go on to sleep. Go on back to bed. Make sure the color scheme is right how we want it. Set the set the scene for y'all. What's that the last person over there says off? Is that oh, money, money, money? Goo punch. What's going down, big dog? Appreciate you joining us, man. Yeah, man. We we appreciate oh, that. Man, yeah, if you see something, say something. Jump in. If you we see don't, something, say something. We don't have much uh, longer left, but if you see something, say something. If you see something, say something. So, yeah, man. If y'all didn't know, it's about that time for our new, one of our favorite, most favorite segments of all time. We're going to call this one IMO. In my opinion, in this segment, Unc is going to go off about something that he just been thinking about, want to get off his chest. No rebuttal. I might agree with what he said. I might co-sign or something. Once he's done, I'm going to give mine. You ready for me to give my opinion? Yes, sir. Uh, What what, what you got your opinion on this week? Man, this is uh, is, is a war that's been vexing my spirit for a while. This is my opinion. There ain't no facts on it. Yeah. In my opinion, athletes and uh oh, yeah, athletes and fans have it mixed up. What they got mixed up? What we talking about now? Athletes think that it's a privilege for the fans to pay to come to see them. Mm-hmm. I think it's the other way around. I think it's a privilege for y'all to 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 play entertain for, us. To, to entertain us yeah. for our money. Absolutely. You say you love the game, but you won't play it unless I give you a $100 million guarantee. That's a lot of money. You say you love the game. Yeah. You know, and then once you get the big money, you complain about going over the middle. You complain about he didn't throw the ball to me right. You, you, you have to load manage. I'm talking about different sports. This is all athletes. You have to load manage. You have to risk every third game, but you won't for two, three hundred million dollars. But you need rest. You get tired. At the end of the season, you say, "Oh, I didn't know that I had to be in that good of a shape to go this deep in the playoffs." Man, you got three hundred million dollars. You ought to be able to play all day. The athletes has it twisted. They think it's a privilege for the fans to come to pay money to see them play a game, and I think it's a privilege for y'all to receive all the money that you're getting to play in front of the fans. And that's a, and and that has been vexing my spirit. That's a, pitch, to, that's a privilege to, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, because athletes now, they want the big money, but they don't want to get a big effort. Mm-hmm. You, want, you want $300 million. You know, I'm going to call some names. Kawhi, let in, in the game, you're not you're, talking about practice. Yeah, we ain't talking about practice. But then every third or fourth game, you need off. Yeah. You do. How many How many 82 game seasons did Korean play? Like 15? Oh, Will Chamberlain played so many, man. The, the only way you missed a game back in the day, you was hurt for real. Yeah. It wasn't none of that, oh, uh, we're going we, we gonna to say you got a half straight because we want you to rest. You yeah. Know? And, and right now, athletes have say, to come. Save you for the playoffs. Make sure you're fresh. Yeah. All, all that. That's, that stuff didn't happen back in the day. And now athletes has got so delusional that they think that it's a privilege for people to pay $150, $200, $300 to go see a game. A game. And you say you love the game, but you won't play it unless I give you a bunch of money. I mean, you know, we we got that twisted. And this is just my opinion. It ain't no facts. I think athletes has it backwards 
and the fans got it backwards too because we paying too much money to go see guys with <laughs> and you know and I I go watch the Clippers and Kawhi and on the game on the field. Yeah, you, you know you you go pay big big money to see somebody and then they're not even on the floor. Yeah, and I think the athletes are beside themselves. They think that the fans are the ones that's privileged, but I think it's the athletes that that's privileged, and that's just my opinion. Man, well that's a heck of an opinion right there. You know what I'm saying? Also, oh, some entitled. There's a lot of entitled people walking around here. A lot of man, that's a lot of money to go. And, and, and you got a wife and two kids, and all y'all want to go see a, a Luca play. Man, y'all got to spend hundreds of dollars, man, just for tickets. Then you got to pay a lot of money for parking. And please don't get nothing to eat or eat or drink. Yeah, you know, for a family of four to go see the Magic Spurs, it's gonna cost you about you know about from eight hundred to a thousand dollars, right? Yeah, that's just that's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, man. In my opinion, yeah, man, that's what's up. That's what, hey, that's a, that's a great opinion, huh? You know where my where my horns at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey, man. We gotta stop that, man. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a madness, you know. But it's bars making cheese around here. Oh yeah, bars absolutely. Cheese around here. Oh, I'll chill. <laughs> I gotta go and get my opinion now. In my opinion. Nineties basketball was a lot tougher than it is right now. What's going on? Do you know? From the, do you know the 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 playing the paint? You know what I'm saying? And I agree. I saw this interview with Dennis Rodman the other day. He said, "Hey, I'd stop LeBron. He just big and fast." You know what KG said today? He, he said, "No, nah, hey, what he said." KG said none of these guys today could play 20, 25 years ago. Man. KG said to Hey, me. and that's co-signing on, on what Dennis Rodman was going to say. He just said he's big and fast than everybody, but he said LeBron's got no moves. No moves. You just got to get in front of him, be willing to take a charge when you start going downhill, and a lot of dudes wasn't willing to do that. Absolutely. I couldn't believe it. You know, when, uh, when he beat the Pistons and, and them boys just letting this young buck attack this paint like this and didn't try to get in the way. We talking Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big, big, the the tough guys. You know, uh, Melee in the, 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 in, in the palace. The malice in the palace. Yeah, Malice in the palace. You know, but LeBron come in the palace and all in your kitchen with his socks off and his feet on your table. You know what I'm saying? I don't think if there were the bad boys in there, LeBron would have had much success doing that with Bill Lambert in that paint, with Dennis Rodman in that paint, John Sally back then. Yeah. Was my boy uh, Edwards? Yeah, oh yeah. He could he could have had some individual success, but no team success. Hey, you know in football, you know you you hit a dude with hard, you got a little little paint on your helmet. Back in the day, back in the day, it was blood on your shirt. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I ain't so I don't see too much blood on your shirt these days. Paul Pierce couldn't have done it. I saw Paul Pierce get caught out in the wheelchair and come back five minutes later. <laughs> like he was got dog on X-Men. Uh what's my what's my boy's name? Uh in the X-Men, the 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 ball headed oh, my boy uh, Spot. Uh, the captain of the you know who I'm talking about. Oh, uh, that's Paul Pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't call his name. Right now. <laughs> what you know, what you... That's Paul Pierce. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I see Lord, I see Jordan go to the hole. You know what I'm saying? Dunk on your boy, and then charge him up after he got fired by two people in the paint. After he made him dunk, then he run up on him and charge, charge him up. Didn't care about the fire. I see LeBron get get his makeup knocked off the top of his head. Over here, you know, on the ground crying like it's a different game. Oh, it's way different, way different. James Harden would have averaged 13 points because he wouldn't have been shooting 35 free throws. He wouldn't have had a triple step back. He wouldn't have had a triple step back travel, what they call back in the day. <laughs> Completely different game. Way different. You know, when they say this is truly a player's league, that's why these guys getting that play of money. And shout out to the five-year, $360 million contracts going around here. Like Fritos at the at the football field, 
You know what I'm saying? You you get something like open the uh, handing out uh, gifts on a show back in the day. You get one. You get one. You get one. Ben Simmons get one. Hundred million ain't nothing to the to the to the NBA no more. You get one. Oh, hundred million is prison. You get one. Everybody get one. Everybody get one. No, it's a different day and age, dog. Man, it's a different day. Yeah, you know, you know, I know there ain't no golden team sports in your opinion, but you know that, that again solidifies why in my lifetime, Michael Jordan is the greatest ever. Cause he experienced that. He 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 had to grow from that. And he was probably after he handed it down to Kobe, but he was probably the last of the great Samoans from them eighties trees. You know what I'm saying? It's seventy six trees. And, and people forget about Dennis Rodman in the 90s. Uh, they forget about David Robinson in the 90s. They forget about Kevin Willis in the 90s. Cats in the 90s, Larry Johnson. These cats got in the jail. They got swollen up. They didn't call files. They got in the jail and got to work. So they could take the files and be the foul. Yeah. The and foul up the game. And get that in what? Wasn't no load management. Wasn't, Wasn't no load management. management. These boys go out there for 82. Day. But it, it feel like a failure, you know? So in my opinion, yeah, 2010 at home has been some of the softest basketball I've ever seen in my life. And that's just my opinion. On the football season, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. But Hey, man, we had a great show, man. A lot of fun, man. Got a little hype for him, man. About my opinion right there, you know? Yeah, I, I get a little out there about my opinion. I like man, the I'm you like this. With this, with this new segment, my opinion. Unc is very uh, opinionated. Yes, sir. And so I got lots of opinions on areas. Right? Yes, sir. So we just get to start. Ben Tinks express them opinions, man. Yes, sir. Yes, but, sir. But, uh, man, really appreciate you all joining us today, man, for another awesome Tonight. 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 Tonight, this evening. Yeah. Yeah, man, had to kind of do some switch. Yeah. Uh, we had to do some switch it up a little bit. Man. But hey, we'll, we'll, we will be back Thursday night. For a Colorado, North Dakota State watch party, man. Y'all be ready. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. Looking forward to that game. Going to be intense. Special game. Ready to see what Colorado does this year. But, hey, we'll see y'all next Wednesday. Yeah. First show sometime around noonish. But in between time, in the meantime, hit that subscribe button. Hit that Good notification luck, bell, man. And then share it with somebody. And share it with somebody. My, 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 my. But we'll see y'all let go. Let's try. Yes. And I just came off the top of my head with that. I didn't know what I was going to talk about right there. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say right there. Yeah, I had to think about it. I just talked about it today. I was like, well, I mean, because I said, I said, oh, I got to say, a lot of times, that's all it takes just something off the top of your head, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to. Trying to think of something while you was talking, I was like, God damn.